Welcome to another edition of Math Tutorials. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at hypothesis testing, claims about a proportion. The example is number 17 from 8.3 of Triola's Elementary Statistics 11th edition. It's titled Cheating Gas Pumps. When testing gas pumps in Michigan for accuracy, Fuel Quality Enforcement Specialists tested pumps and found that 1,299 of them were not pumping accurately, and 5,686 were accurate. Use a .01 significance level to test the claim of an industry representative that less than 20% of the Michigan gas pumps are inaccurate. Now the first thing you want to be able to do in a problem like this is figure out what it's asking you to actually test, because there are a lot of different hypothesis tests we go through and the key is to read the sentence where they ask you to find something. It says, test the claim that less than 20% are inaccurate. Well, that's a claim about a percent, which is a proportion. It's not a mean, it's not an average. It would say, test the claim that an average is something, if it was about a mean. And it's not a deviation or a variant, so in reading that sentence you can figure out that this is a test about a proportion. Now that's important because then if you know that, you can go to your calculator and you can actually look up what you need to know. So let's pretend I don't even know what to do very much. Go to STAT, go to TESTS, and go look at one prop Z test. That's the proportion test. Hit ENTER, and I can see what it's going to prompt me to plug in. Those are the things I need to find within the text of this problem. P0 is the proportion from the null hypothesis H0. Since the claim has to do with 20%, that's going to be the P0, 20% or 0 0.20. And then X and N are talking about the sample. N is the sample size, and X is how many in the sample are meeting the criteria of whatever we're looking for. And then finally, the fourth thing is the direction of extreme, which is the inequality coming from your alternative hypothesis H1. So those are the things we need to find, and if we take a look on our problem, we can actually fill in some of these things. So one of the things we noted was that the number that were inaccurate was 1299. Okay, that was given to us. And we were told that 5686 were accurate. And we were asked to test the claim with a level of significance, alpha of 0.01. And the claim we were asked to test is that the percentage, or proportion, was less than 20%. Now this is, does not have equality on it, so this has automatically got to be H1, our alternative hypothesis, and HO is therefore going to be the claim that P is equal to 0 0.20, because HO is always going to have equality in it. Now it's important in this case to note that P is the proportion that are inaccurate, because that's going to tell us what our x and our n are. Because x is supposed to be the number from the sample of what we're looking for. And if, it, if the number, if we were looking for the proportion that are accurate, we, x would be 5686. But we're looking for inaccurate, so x is going to be 1299. And then n is the sample size. Well, 1299 inaccurate, 5686 accurate, n is going to be the sum of those two numbers. So that's going to be uh, 6985 for n, your sample size. Okay, now we've got all these things. Go to your calculator, and let's plug them in. So P0 is the proportion from your H0. So that's P equals 0 0.20. So that's what I'm going to put in here, point, point 0 0.20. X is the number... Of, from the sample of what we were looking for. We're looking for inaccurate, x is 1299, n is the sample size, 6985. Next I'm going to do the direction of extreme, that's the inequality from H1. Notice it's less than, so go to less than, and over here you hit enter to shade what you want, so I move on to less than P0, enter, and then I go to calculate. And I'm doing p-value method, so the main thing I want to pick out of all of this is that the p-value is about 0 0.0017. So p-value is approximately 0 0.0017. And then you're going to compare that to your alpha. Well, the p-value 
is less than alpha, and that means there's not a lot of support for HO, so we reject HO. And therefore we conclude that the claim that P is less than 0 0.20 is probably true, or at least it's supported by the data that we have.